some special individuals, the journey of a professional hockey career begins before they can even walk. A passion for the game is ignited in its purest form. The road isn't easy, and there are many paths one can take to get there, but it is through passion, work ethic, and raw talent that these few players will succeed. Over the next few months, we'll be following the journey of eight draft-eligible prospects as they embark on an unfamiliar path towards the ultimate goal of being drafted by a National Hockey League team. Octagon Hockey and Gong Show Gear present The Road. <laughs> Logan Brown. I'm from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and I play for the Windsor Spitfires. I'm Jacob Chekrin. I'm from Boca Raton, Florida, and I play for the Sarnia Stink. Uh, I'm Boris Kachuk. I play on the uh, Sioux Greyhounds, and I'm from Waterloo, Ontario. My name is uh, Logan Stanley. I play for uh, the Windsor Spitfires, and I'm from Waterloo, Ontario. Luke Green from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I play for the St. John Sea Dogs. I'm Pascal Laberge. I'm uh, from St. Martin, Montreal, and I'm playing for the Victoriaville Tigers in the queue. Behind a long list of characteristics that define a player's ability on the ice, there is an interesting story of where they came from and how they got to this point. This group of prospects is no different. My dad uh, first put me in skates when I was two years old. The first skate I did was with Stanley C. Panther. He's the mascot for the Florida Panthers. and It was a fun way to get introduced to the game and you know I think that's what helped me fall in love with it down the road. My dad really got me going in hockey. He brought me out on the ice when I was just two years old and he told me every lap that I skated he'd push me around in the chair. So he was always my idol growing up and uh, I still remember watching his, his game clips in my basement and, uh, and telling myself that's where I wanted to be one day. I think we were low on defensemen when, when I was younger and I was a pretty good skater so they put me back there and just just said, do your thing, and you can, you're allowed to rush the puck, and they just kind of put me back there. We were low on players. Well, my dad played all his life. You know, I think he brought home some mini sticks one day, and I just started playing in the living room. I started with my dad when I was little. I was, he was pushing me on the chair. At this moment, I knew I, I want to be a hockey player. My mom, she raised me and two other boys in, in the house. She, she played both roles, and she skated in the Calgary Olympic Games in 1988. My father passed away when I was one years old, but it's the reason why I'm a hockey player today and why she, she's just such an influence to me in my games. For two years, I played in Detroit for the Little Caesars, but I was living in Florida. Every weekend, me and my dad would fly to Michigan and play tournaments and games. In grade seven, I, I didn't go to the school with my, my friends. Instead, I went to a private school and played hockey every day, and I became a better hockey player, and I owe a lot of my success to that school. My dad did a lot of sacrifice. He's a trucker, so he's not making a lot of money. So he had to work harder to make me play my sports. I really appreciate what he did for me. For these hopeful draft prospects, it is imperative to stand out and make a lasting impression in front of NHL scouts and teams alike. Each prospect draws from their own unique influences who have helped shape them into the players they are today. I guess just like every, everyone else, we're just looking for looking at the big picture and we want to all play in the NHL, so just uh, trying to be, be the best you can be every night and try to mold yourself into an NHL player. When I was young, I started off playing forward. You know, I was a huge Sidney Crosby fan. You know, when I transitioned to defense, I started watching Drew Doughty a lot. And I love his style of play. I like to model my game after his. He's great with the puck and uh, he takes pride in the D zone. And, got a little chip on his shoulder too, which I love. Uh, I really like to watch Joe Thornton. Uh, I like the way he plays and it's a methodical way of playing the game and, and I like to uh, kind of mimic him and, and watch him and take the, the style of game he plays and try and add it into mine. I'd say Tyler Segan. He's a skilled player, he's fast, he's, uh, he's flashy, I like him. I'm like more of a hard worker guy with skills and I can play the body sometimes. I like to watch a guy like Sedano Chara, big and mean and um, a leader and a Stanley Cup champion. Every kid looks up to, you know, guys in the NHL. Everyone wants to win a Stanley Cup these days. Everyone wants to make an NHL. They want to make the roster. You know, hopefully, hopefully that's me one day too. For every 25,000 hockey players in any given birth year, only 25 will play at least one game in the NHL. 
These top prospects are close to overcoming these insurmountable odds, but nothing is ever guaranteed, making these next few months very crucial in leading up to the NHL draft. Our next episode takes us to Vancouver, British Columbia for the CHL Top Prospects game, where players hope to boost their draft ranking. Will they stay the course on their road to the NHL draft or derail under pressure? This is The Road.